Morning, Steve Fried in, in Chicago with the morning grain calls. Hope everybody has a safe and nice weekend. It is Friday. Uh, we could see some positioning evening up in the grains uh, as we near month end, quarter end in the USDA September uh, stocks report. Overnight, we're seeing uh, some of the financial markets lower, and the grains lower, on talk that this uh, Chinese real estate group missed a interest rate payment. They've got some more payments due, and so the Chinese are watching pretty closely that they don't use funds to make these payments versus obligations on housings that they promised to build within China. We also note that from a weather standpoint, there will be some rains next week across the southern plains. This is not necessarily a change in pattern, but the remnants of the Hurricane Sam off the U.S. northeast coast. We also note that there is potentially a, a pattern change in Brazil. Uh, they should see rains next week. Again, uh, this would be kind of normal monsoon rains. And if we look at La Nina, southern Brazil and northeast Argentina should be dry uh, this year. Uh, the Argentina farmer has planted about 8% of his corn crop. Uh, acres are up and uh, we do note that the Brazil farmer increased soybean sales yesterday on these uh, increased rain events and a lower currency. Also, China is at the forefront of a couple of news items. Uh, China has asked, uh, ordered uh, soybean crushing plants in two provinces to shut down. Uh, this is part of a five-year plan of reducing emissions. Don't know how long those plants will be shut down, but those actual provinces have missed their target emission numbers. We also note that China is rationing domestic electricity uh, because of a drop in coal supply. So we're not sure how that's going to affect their soybean imports, but especially soybean oil values are sharply higher this morning on talk of lower supply because of lower crush. We also note that China is coming down hard on crypto trading, saying that uh, for Chinese traders, it's illegal. We also note that there is some speculation they might curtail some Chinese from trading U.S. exchanges. So we'll have to watch that pretty closely. This should be a big harvest weekend for corn. Uh, Illinois yields supposedly still a little bit below expectations, or Iowa corn and soybean yields are above. We also note that the market's still waiting uh, for the Gulf to open to see potentially increased U.S. soybean sales and maybe corn sales. Again, Brazil will have half the corn exports that they did a year ago. Wheat prices are higher. China may have come in and bought European wheat. They may have also bought U.S. soft red winter wheat. Europe corn harvest has stalled because of lack of natural gas to drive the crop down. And the wheat quality is, again, a question mark. And yesterday there was talk that Russia might impose some type of rationing quota on wheat exports after January 1st. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day. And remember, always treat people like you yourself would like to be treated.